the pa the patients who have uh, indirect bilirubin high because of hemolysis or because of genetic disorder called as Gibbard syndrome or Krigerel nature, these patients have usually indirect fraction more than the direct fraction, but enzymes are usually normal. So, if you do SGOT, SGPT, alkaline phosphatase, total protein albumin, they usually have a normal function. In a patient with Gil Gibbard syndrome, it's usually a disease where you have a fluctuating bilirubin level from a normal 1, 1 1.2 to 6 and it gets fluctuated because of dehydration, because of painkillers or sometimes it can be because of fever. So, you will never have a patient with Gibbard syndrome where the bilirubin is crossing more than 6. If it is crossing more than 6, we consider krigler nager as a differential diagnosis rather than Gibbard syndrome. And it is a benign cause, it is a very commonly uh, found uh, problem in day to day practice. We see many patients coming to us with the dietic restriction, with uh, stopping of proteins and fat and everything and so on and then we do the test, we find that total bilirubin is high, indirect bilirubin is high, direct bilirubin is within normal range, all other parameters are normal, ultrasound abdomen when we do it is completely normal. And then we do a genetic test called as UGT1A assay, which comes positive because it is a chromosomal genetic abnormality which we detect and that is how we diagnose a Gilbert syndrome. Basically, it is a diagnosis of exclusion once we rule out other causes. But it is a benign disease, it just requires to be um, monitored closely and these patients if they avoid dehydration, if they uh, avoid painkillers and uh, they cannot avoid fever, but then there is a possibility that during fever the bilirubin may go elevated, but nothing to worry, it will settle down again once the fever subsides.